those voices? My entire life. I'm trapped in here. These stairs. I'm climbing these stairs again. I need to get out. The voices are calling me. I, I have to get it. I have to... Those horrible dreams again. I've had them repeatedly ever since my mother died and left me that music box in her will. Harry always said that old family heirloom had something to do with my family's strange disease. If the doctors won't give us an answer about your illness, I'll search for one myself, you said. And in that search, it seems you lost yourself. I don't think I'd ever... Pardon me, madam, but the island is in sight. We'll be lowering the boat in just a minute. Oh, uh, thank you so much, Captain Hodgson. I'll be right out. All right. Time to gather my things. Ah, the amazing adventures of Nora Everhart. After spending so much time reading this book, I think I've learned a thing or two about Polynesian culture. Merveille du Mer du Sud. Marvels of the Southern Seas, I think. Oh, I'd better cover up my hands before I leave the cabin. I wouldn't want anyone thinking I'm a circus freak. I received a mysterious package at my house. I stored all its contents in my locked suitcase. Oh my, I have the worst memory. I forgot the combination again. Thank goodness I always bring my journal with me to write things down. All right, now it's open. Harry Everhart, my husband, my partner, and my dear old pal. A brass key with the letters CW. Harry Everhart. My husband. My enigmatic boy. instructions. This strange and sharp relic came in the package I received at home. I saw this island in one of my unsettling dreams. I drew it as soon as I woke up. We're all set, madam. The motor boat is ready. Okay, Nora. From here on out, you're on your own. Lower the motorboat. Be careful with Mrs. Everhart's equipment, lads. We 
He'll be back to pick you up in three days. I really hope you find your husband there, madam. I hope it too. I'll see you in three days then. Now please be careful on that island. You know what the legends say about it. I'll take care. Thank you, Captain Hudson. Well, here I am, in the middle of the ocean after traveling across half the world. Just miles away from where my husband is supposed to be. You left a year ago to search for a cure for my affliction. Your letters kept me close to you, but suddenly they stopped coming. What happened, Opal? What did you find? Whatever it was, it led you to hire a crew and set sail from San Francisco to Tahiti. And from there, to this place. An island in the middle of the Pacific that the locals refused to even name. Everything is familiar. So familiar. As impossible as that may sound. Is this the island I dreamed about? This, this can't be a coincidence. idyllic island, surrounded by deadly reefs and protected with stakes to keep anybody from entering. Why? There's definitely something strange about this place. if I can find any trace of you around here. A tent. So somebody was on this island recently. A miniature va'a, a Polynesian outrigger canoe. Beautifully crafted, too. This machete is completely worn down. The blade is dull. A note written in French. I only understand two words, ill and mort, island and death. It must be a warning about the dangers of the island. I feel quite good. I dare say I might even walk a little faster than usual. markings seem to represent the sea. I'll make a note of them in my journal. It might come in handy. Looks like it opens from the other side. These wooden figures are called Unu. This seems to be telling a story. It 
may look peaceful, but clearly somebody wants to keep outsiders off this island. From what I've read, the Polynesians don't need doors. So why build such a big one? Well, that did something. A carving tool. This box. CW? Those are the initials on the brass key. It opens it. So whoever sent me this key was here. This is starting to look like a scavenger hunt. What a lovely flower offering. Well, look what's hidden here. It works. This may be the first time I trespass a private property. My childhood in Newburyport wasn't exactly the most thrilling thing. Is that... Harry? Harry! You were here! You were here and I found you, damn it! Where are you now? Where is everybody? Where did you and all your crew go? Lady Shannon? That name sounds familiar. I'd better check my journal. A mechanical bridge? That doesn't fit in with Polynesian traditions either. This reminds me of those slot machines that Harry and I saw at the Atlantic City Pier. What a Polynesian version. Since I took such a long walk, this fresh air is doing me wonders. What a beautiful mountainous landscape. This sort of pond is a Polynesian fishing technique. There's another symbol inside it. Now that I've crossed half the world, I wouldn't mind crossing the other half. But I have to do it with you, old pal. Rays of sunlight shining through. Another symbol. My, this is so beautiful. <laughs> what were these birds called? Uh, lorikeets. Cole's lorikeets.
There are lorikeet feathers scattered around this umu. I'll draw the symbol in my journal. Harry said that he would go to the end of the world to find a cure, and by the looks of it, he wasn't lying. We promised we'd never lie to each other from the moment we started dating, no matter how harsh the truth. How long have I been walking? I've lost track of the time. 